Ready? <coughs> well, hey, it's Bruce Latch. We're down at Timeless Archery Finishing in Grand Rapids, Michigan. 616-453-8309. Check out our website. It'll be in the link below. with contact information with my phone number and email address. Anyhow, <coughs> we got three radios here out of Detroit, Michigan. Um, they belong to two different uh, radio collectors. Um, we did a video on this one a little uh, earlier today uh, while stripping it, or we showed a video before we stripped it. Um, and you can see that, uh, you want to come up closer, yeah. Corey? A little inlay in here, I thought might have been photo finish. Um, that's inlaid in there, so that remained. And down here that I thought possibly might have been a photo finish too, that was not. That was a uh, actually a burled wood, which I'm really glad. Um, you got a nice little burled wood up in here. It's actually gonna be a beautiful radio when it's done. We got a little bit of veneer repair down in here and down in there. Um, side of the radio. Looks nice, all in here. Got a little issue, got a little bit of veneer work in here. <coughs> Molding the fix. Anything over here, the moldy's buckled out a little bit. Um, other than that, the radio looks pretty darn nice. Beautiful <coughs> cabinet. We got this little fill call over here that we stripped uh, on Saturday. A little fill call right here requires a sticker. Um, that went right across here, it says fill call on it. Um, <coughs> so, uh, this little thing is uh, pretty much walnut and um, it needs to be cleaned up a little bit with lacquer thinner before I sand it. <coughs> There's a few of the side. This one was a little tougher to strip and it was Saturday and we didn't feel like working that hard, but we got to clean it up a little bit more um, in the leg area and so on before we start to even sand it up. <coughs> and <coughs> this little guy right here, I'm not quite sure, I'm, I'm gonna say it's a Zenith radio. Uh, there's no <coughs> I'm not seeing any tags on the inside of it, but um, it's a beautiful walnut radio. It's all stripped down. It needs to be wiped down with lacquer thinner. I don't use mineral spirits because mineral spirits don't cut any finish off. And um, if there's little residues of finish on here, which there are, We'll wipe it back with either lacquer thinner or some acetone on a rag, and we won't scrub real hard because, as you see, the color and all this wood is really nice. This is just stains that you're seeing, but when you wipe this down really and get it nice and clean, you got beautiful color left in it. After you start going at it with steel wool, you know, and thinner to try and get some finish off, finish off well, then you gotta you're distorting the color. So. But the whole cabinet, this side looks really nice too. Um, so, yeah, this whole cabinet looks good. Yeah, looks good. But one thing, uh, bring that over a little closer, Corey. The one thing I've noticed, I've been refinishing radios now for probably maybe three or three or four years, and I've been doing it. Um, you know, for collectors for about the last three or four years. And um, what I found out, if you're going out to buy a radio, a lot of radios will have these um, these little curves. Like right in here, this radius curve right in here. Right in here where this is, you see in my hand right there? Right in here. Now when you go out to buy a radio, if you see a radio that's got a nice crack going down the side here, you might want to just stay away from that because what happens is when you strip it down and you refinish it, you sand it up really nice. Well, it looks like it's fine and dandy and it looks like it's going to be gone. But, um, you know, a year or two years later, uh, maybe six months, what happens is that the core underneath this is shifting and as it starts to shift again, the veneer will crack again. So, unless that's not going to bother you. Um, that was an experience I had with a radio I refinished for a customer. Uh, actually, 
Tony over here, one of these collectors, and uh, now I found out that when you're going around radiuses like this, right in here, <coughs> there are areas that are rounded like this, and they're wrapped with veneer, if they cracked, um, they're going to crack again a year or two down the road. So that's something to keep in mind if you're going to be buying a radio that you want to restore. Um, so, but anyhow, that's pretty much it. These little things will be wiped down good with lacquer thinner, um, all the finish removed off, any residue, um, sanded extremely well, washed again with lacquer thinner, and then we're going to start to finish them up, and we'll be doing videos on that. <coughs> Maybe not this week, but definitely next week. So thank you and have a nice day.